them back to bass boxing outdoors. Uh, I just want to start off by saying thank you all for liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. I also wanted to remind you all about the giveaway that's uh, for that reel. So if we get up to like 450 subscribers, I will be giving that away. So make sure you get in on that video and uh, we'll be doing that giveaway as soon as we can. As soon as we reach that mark. Uh, might even save it for the 500. I'm not sure, but we'll do it somewhere in that mark. Just whenever I feel, you know, ready to do it. <laughs> but I would really like to get it out to one of y'all while fishing season's still going on. So I hope we can get there pretty quick. Uh, we climbed up pretty good, man. Uh, I can't complain about it. Also, uh, don't forget to get in on the every, every other give every uh, sorry about that the every other Sunday giveaway that'll be coming up this Sunday. So make sure you get in on that video, and we'll do that giveaway. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, y'all, we don't have no subscription boxes or anything like that to do. You know, this month pretty much over. Uh, I've been trying to put together some fishing videos and every time I start one, it doesn't work out. And I've been trying to do like a top water only and you know, some stuff like that. And it, it's like, I either go out and I just catch one fish or I don't catch a fish at all. So anyways, I'm working on that. Uh, been doing some painting and stuff like that. Uh, so anyways, I figured just today, man, we could get in and do a little painting video. I wanted to show y'all some of the baits I painted recently. I was just having fun with it. But, uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones. I like how the belly come out on that. That belly just, like, really looks almost realistic. It was kind of crazy how it showed up. So, I like that. And then, uh, I did this one. Got that blue on the top and the silver underneath and the green and then the orange belly. And then I kind of did like a uh, 4th of July thing, kind of the red, blue, and white on the top. And then I did this one. This one was just, I don't know, I was just throwing stuff together, but anyways. It's got the purple, the chartreuse, the red, and uh, on the top, it's kind of weird because the red and the black kind of like separated from the paint, I guess, and it made this weird, unique design on there, so that was pretty cool. I call this one the Easter bait. Looks like Easter. <laughs> but anyways, I've been doing that. So anyways, I thought today would be kind of cool. I'm gonna, I haven't done this yet. But I think I'm going to try to do a, uh, a rainbow trout jerk bait. So, anyways, I figured since I was going to try to do it, uh, I might as well show y'all. Uh, another thing I wanted to show y'all, I got a new airbrush gun. This right here is, uh, I don't know if y'all can re see up close, but anyways, it's uh, Iwata Neo. And let me tell you something. I was having a lot of problems with the one that I bought before. I bought two off of eBay and Amazon. You know, because I just wanted to kind of test the water to see if this was going to be something I like doing or not. And I did. But I was having so much frustration with the gun because uh, sometimes the paint wouldn't come out or it would come out and it would splatter everywhere. And no matter how good I cleaned it or how good the paint I bought, it just kept giving me problems. So anyways, I bought bit the bullet and spent a little bit more and bought that. I think that was $74 with tax for that gun. And let me tell you something. That is a major game changer. I mean, that has made my life so much easier. It's so much easier to uh, clean and the paint just flows through it effortlessly. I mean, the slightest touch of that trigger, it puts paint out. So if you're thinking about getting into this, Nothing against the ones on Amazon. They're good to start off with. Like, you know, the first two or three baits you paint with it, it'll work fine, and then it's going to start giving you problems. 
So if you're thinking about it and, and you really want to get into it, I would just recommend biting the bullet. Go spend the extra little bit of money and buy the Iwata. Uh, either one, any Iwata gun is going to work good. So I would just recommend doing that if you think about doing it. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to hang these baits back up. And uh, we're going to paint that rainbow trout. Also, if you're interested in buying any of these uh, baits like this, uh, or if you want me to make something for you or something, just uh, hit me up at BassBoxingOutdoors at gmail.com or on Instagram, and let me know, and we'll set up something, and I'll figure it out for you, sell it to you, or whatever, because I've had a lot of people ask if I was going to sell them or not, so that's your answer. Alright, so uh, y'all stay with me and I'm going to change the angle up on the camera and we're going to get this painting started. Alright guys, so I moved y'all over here that way y'all can kind of see what's going on here. Alright, so we got our uh, base paint coat on here and uh, so now we're just going to hit it up with a couple of colors. So anyways, what I've got... As I've got some uh, fluorescent hot pink from Createx, which is going to be pretty bright, but I want it to be bright. I don't want it to be a more natural color. And then I've got some uh, pearlized white. I've got some opaque black. I've got some uh, transparent brown. And some wicked phyllo's green so i was trying to think of a, a variety of different ways i could do this but i normally like to start off with my lightest colors first because your darker colors are normally going to cover up any mistake that you make and i think since we're just going to try to put up like a little pink line through the middle of it uh I think that's what we're going to start off with. So, with that said, let's see what happens. See if I can do this without spraying, you know. And like I said, you just put a little bit of paint in there. So far, that's what we got. That's going to be your little pink line. And the more you put that on there, the brighter that's going to get. So you got to remember that. You don't want it too bright. I think that looked about good. I think that's about as bright as we want it. And you know, the fade in and out, that's a good thing because, you know, fish ain't going to be perfectly colored like, you know, a perfect match everywhere. All right. I think that works. Now we got that done. We'll clean out our gun and start with another color. And all you're doing is backwashing to clean this. Clean that out real good. Add you a little bit of water to it. And just kind of backwash it in there. And then take your little rag and clean it out real good on the inside. 
Make sure any mess you made, you cleaned it up. Get all the paint out of there. And now I'm just gonna run this cleaner through there. And it just takes a little bit, not much, a couple of drops of it. Wash this one more time with the water that way we can make sure that clean it and chemical got out of there. That way it don't mess your paint up. And that's pretty much it. back this is another reason why I said that you know you wanted to start off with your light color looks pretty good and dry to me that's another thing you always want to make sure it's dry you can heat dry it if you want to but uh, we're not gonna do that because it's already been usually about the time you get done uh, cleaning it it should be dry unless you just really put a bunch of coats on there so we're done with pink, so we can get that out of the way. I think I'm going to go with the Philo's green next. And then go over the top of this with brown. And that's how we're going to come up with the back. Side of the head a little bit, and I think we look good. This time I'm, gonna, I'm taking y'all through step by step. There's only gonna be one step that I'm actually gonna, you know, like fast forward through or whatever, but. Uh, I just thought it'd be kinda cool. Kinda show y'all step by step. It's almost harder to get the light colors out of here than it is to get the dark colors out. I don't know why that is, but it always seems like I have a harder time getting dark colors out. 
All right, so now we're done with that one. So now we're going to come in here with the brown. like that and that should be all that we need hope it ain't too loud but if it is there ain't nothing I can really do about it But yeah, it's kind of crazy the difference again will make. Now I'm going to heat set this. So that's how we're looking right now and you know honestly I'm actually thinking about going back and putting more pink in here because that's how their body is they're more a pink in the middle and their, their body their bottoms are like a, a pearlized white so I might actually go ahead and hit some more pink in there I thought that that would be enough but the way I'm looking at it see that back side looks actually pretty good how the line kind of pink so if we're gonna keep this white because the trout's underbelly is white so I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna add a little bit more pink to it Kind of go up underneath that cheek a little bit. Do the same thing on this side. that looked pretty good all right all 
I was wondering why it's taking me so long to clean these things out. I'm not using the right bottle. Duh. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I can't believe I was using the wrong bottle. We've done the brown, we've done the pink, so we got the pearlized white and the black left. All right, I need to heat set this. Step's gonna be a little bit longer. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna do and kind of explain it to you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some black paint on this paper towel, which I'm gonna do right now. take this little q-tip thing right here and I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm gonna put little dots on there just like that And that's what's going to make it look like a trout. So when I get done with this, I'll come back to y'all and show y'all the rest. Alright guys, so we're back. And that's what we're looking like now. Uh, if I have to say, I think I've done a pretty good job for my first time doing a trout. And it wasn't that complicated really. Just a couple of colors. Uh, we're not done with it quite yet though, because I'm going to add some of this pearl pearlized white on the bottom and kind of mist it over that way it kind of blends on all the colors and they're not just all bright and then that one will be done other than gloss so let's add a little bit of this to it and like i said the main purpose of that is for the bottom so we'll do that give it a little bit of a shine to it and a sparkle That way, whenever you're going through the water, it kind of flashes a little bit. And you kind of want to keep it at a, a far distance or not like real up tight and close because it will like take over the color. Just basically kind of misting it down, kind of bl blend in those colors a little bit. That way they're not so shiny. Now you can see what I'm talking about, how it's kind of, you can see like a white mist on it. I don't know if y'all can see that in the camera or not, but that's all there is to it. Like I said, we'll pop the eyeballs in there and uh, do that, and that thing's ready. I have to say, I think uh, I'm pretty impressed with that myself. I 
I've never done it before, so I just seen it and thought it'd be fun. So anyways, uh, that's today's video. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed. And uh, leave a comment on here and let me know what y'all think. I know I'm not no professional or anything, but uh, I thought it turned out pretty good. And if you want to see the finished project after I put the eyes and stuff and uh, gloss it with the coat and stuff, let me know and uh, I'll show y'all in the next video or something like that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.